All right, so today I'm going to show you a couple of features on the triangle in terms of what it should look like um, based on the tools that I've given you. So first off, I'm going to begin by creating my regular polygon. And this has to be a triangle, so I'll put three. Once I have that, I am going to go to this point tool and I'm going to create what I call midpoints or centers. Okay. So I'll click this here, here, and here. Notice that no matter where I click on the line, it always goes to the middle. That's important. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to create a line segment so that it connects from here to there and from here to there. Now, as I do this, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to set up a couple of extra important points here. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to get rid of the polygon. And I'm, I don't mean I'm going to erase it. I'm just going to go ahead and hide it momentarily. I'll go back to my midpoint tool and click on this segment and this segment separately. Now, before I bring anything else back, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, since I already used up the segments, I don't need them anymore, I'm going to get rid of this segment. I'm going to get rid of this midpoint in the middle. I don't really need it. And I'm going to get rid of this segment here. Once all of those pieces are gone, I'll bring back my polygon. All right, and so these are the points I need to have in order for me to create my image correctly. And here's the important part. I'm going to make a segment that goes from here to here. This is important. And then I'm going to create a segment, actually it's going to be a line, that goes from here to here. But the, the important thing is that this particular angle has to be 90 degrees. So for me to do that, I have to create what is called a perpendicular line. So here, this is my symbol for perpendicular. I'm going to select here and click on this point. Okay, so let me undo that real quick and let me just show you one more time. In order to make the perpendicular, I need to go ahead and select this segment anywhere and then click on this point so that it guarantees to pass through there. Once I have that, this point is also going to make a line here, but the difference is that now um, that particular line has to be parallel to this. So I'm going to switch and I'm going to make parallel. And I want this point to make a line that goes through it but parallel to this one. So I end up with this situation. Once these things are there, I'm going to add a point of intersection here and there. These are my two points of intersection. I'm going to add a segment and the segment is going to be like this from here to the top and from here to the middle. Now why am I doing that? Because then I can clean up my image, get rid of these extra lines and maybe move my image around a little bit. And this is what my triangle should look like. This is my triangle perfectly broken apart so that I can then start doing my rotation. All right, so hopefully this part makes sense to you. And uh, I'll give you more suggestions as they become necessary. All right. Bye.